So I think our only option now is to pitch Zappos that idea of yours, you know, the how I... <laughs> no, no, there is no way. I, I will not be selling out. Thank you. So, I hear you have an idea for a show for us. I do, and I am very excited to be sharing it with you today. Okay, so remakes are very in right now. Right, right, right. Okay, give it to me. Feed me. Feed Susanna. Okay, so how about uh, a remake of The Lion King? Uh, this remake stars a zebra, just like a random zebra that otherwise would be considered an extra in the movie. But this zebra is like, wait, why are lions our leaders? Who elected them the leaders? Why do we have to bow down to them and get eaten by them? So then the zebra leads the revolution. Uh, but then the zebra does end up getting eaten. But as a zebra lays dying, looking up into the heavens with like maybe like the sun reflected on his eye, it's thinking, well, you know, at least... I tried. Ugh, cut the bullshit. Hmm? Huh? Cut the bullshit. You know what we want and we know what you want. You need a little piece of paper that says you don't need another little piece of paper. If you don't sell a show, you don't get exception from proof of existence and you don't get to upload yourself. That's right. I got your medical records. Zappos level intel. If you're not watching Phantasmus on HBO, what are you even doing with your life? Um, well, obviously you're uh, focusing on Project 2025. That's the only excuse that... Uh, no, we're focusing on Project 0500. Oh, yes. Uh, you mean the 500 episode? Which yeah, yeah. We're not there yet. No, no. This but is, uh, we are milking the fuck out of... This is like what? 0598? Uh, 0498. Five so. nine eight. Oh wow! Did I did, did I jump into the future? <laughs> it's okay. The important thing is you got genius juice in you, courtesy Truth. of Sugar House Distillery. Yeah, and yes, folks, it's okay. We're back with another podcast of TV Ten Podcast. It's me, Tommy Milagro, and me, Bill Frost, and uh, yeah, we're just going uh, every other week until we hit five hundred, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. And mostly, we're doing this because we love to milk things. And it's summer. Who cares about podcasts in the summer? Yeah, that's the problem, <laughs> isn't it? So. And uh, yeah, so anyway, as I as I said, you should be watching Phantasmith with uh, Julio Torres on HBO <laughs> and Max. It's fucking brilliant, and I can't explain it to you at all. It's just fucking weird. So remember, kids, <clears throat> when we talked to you about Los Espookies? Yeah. And remember when we said this was the oddest thing ever in English and or in Spanish? Yeah. This is... Uh, yeah, but... Uh, Phantasma, this is next level. Phantasma is at least all in English, so you don't have to read anything. Right. But it's still a mindfuck. Except when the miniature gnome people speak. There's that. <laughs> There's that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what... Uh, yeah, so the uh, 500th episode, uh, this is going to be on uh, August 4th. Yep, that's when we planned it over at our uh, good friends at uh, Black Sheep in uh, Foothill Village. Don't uh, don't think Black Bear. There's a no. there's a million of those. No, there's only like a like one or two. No, black there, sheep. There's two Black yeah. Sheeps. There's one in West uh, Jordan. Excuse me, one in Weijo. Weijo. Yeah, and then there's one in Foothill Village in uh, the Salt Lake area. Yeah, that's the one you want to pay attention to. Yeah, uh, my good friend uh, Greg Hoffman said. I want to do something with the uh, TV Tam podcast, and I went, "Really? Okay, <laughs> let's take advantage of this." <laughs> Can't imagine what he thought he would be doing with us. Oh, he's dealt with me. He knows. Oh, okay, yeah, he fucking knows. All right, like he knows that we have some great sponsors, like our good friends at the OG sponsor, Sugar House Distillery. Yeah, and we gotta have some raspberry lemonade vodka in a can. Yep, because. How else are we going to deal with the hellscape that is Utah? Yeah, raspberry lemonade vodka in a can, uh, three three fifty five milliliters, ten percent alcohol. Yep, it'll fuck you up. Uh, well, as evidenced by the zero five nine eight part of uh, oh, Mr. Man. Frost. <laughs> I only had it. Only had a sip, and I'm already there. Exactly. Right, yeah. 
Yep, well, enjoy that uh, refreshment here. I know I am dealing with that as we speak. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, on August 4th at around 6 p.m. Yep. We're going to be there. Drop on by. But until then... Maybe we'll give you a shirt. Well, I Maybe don't... we can get some swag from our fine sponsors to give away. Hmm. Are you saying I need to uh, speak to our fine sponsors? Maybe, yeah. All See right. if they got any stuff they want to get rid of. Okay. Uh, is that is that how I'm going to be... Uh... That's going to be your homework. Okay, so I'll I'll just go up to like James and I'll be, hey, uh, you want to get rid of this shit? I don't know what I don't know what swag they have anymore, but well, they got they got some stuff. Okay, um, all right. I'm sure we can make something work out. Okay, so. but we, we got we TV can't can- we can't give away booze because that would be illegal. No, of course not. We're we're responsible. Imagine just handing out bottles of Sugar House Distillery vodka. Oh. You get a bottle. You get a bottle. Everybody gets a bottle. And we're arrested. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, oh, but of course we would never do that. And also, uh, whoever uh, is going to use this as evidentiary, <laughs> we're just performance artists, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's some uh, new stuff premiering this week. Want to get that out of the way right away? Yeah, let's get to that. Uh, there is a uh, beginning today. This episode drops on Monday the eighth, uh, Shark Week. Actually, oh. starts uh, starts Sunday on the seventh. Uh, hosted by uh, retired wrestler John Cena. Oh well, no, no, no! He's not retired. He's not retired. Let's, uh, but don't steal my news. Don't don't do that. Anyway, John Cena. <laughs> He's and, hosting it. At yeah, least. yeah. And also, uh, season twenty one of The Bachelorette on ABC. I will only mention this because we it only took twenty seasons, but we finally have our first uh, Asian American leading lady. That'd be uh, Jen Tran, a 26-year-old phys- physician assistant from Miami. Because they're all from everybody. All the bachelorettes are from Miami, as far yep, as I know. Exactly. Or as uh, the great philosopher Jim Jeffries talks about it, it's the best reality show where, uh, where a human being is a prize. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's well pretty said. accurate. Well said, yes. Uh, coming up on Wednesday on Apple TV+, Plus, if you're looking to fill that up, uh, uncomfortable sci-fi adjacent hole in your heart that has been left by severance mm. maybe you should check this out sunny s-u-n-n-y this is a new dark comedy uh, on apple tv plus starring rashida jones oh okay she's an american expat expat living in japan her mm-hmm. husband and son go missing but then her her husband's company you know it's like uh we're sorry sorry about your family but here here's a ai robot assistant for you Okay. And uh, so she teams up with this robot, Sunny, to uh, investigate the disappearance because it's suspicious. Speaking of things suspicious, mm-hmm. can I just point out an obvious thing? It seems like all these NBC greats, uh, Maya Rudolph, yep. Kristen Wiig, yep. and now Rashida Jones. How about that? They're all, all on Apple TV Plus these days. Yeah. Yeah. So why... <laughs> Now, some of you are going, who, what? Uh, We've (laughs) talked about this before. We're talking about the shows that are on, respectively, Loot, uh, Palm Royale, and... uh, Sunny. And Sunny now. Yeah. Oh, and of course, uh, don't forget the genius that is Carol Burnett. She is your goddess. Worship on her feet. Yeah, she's on Palm Royale, and she's fucking great. Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, that's on Wednesday on Apple TV+. Plus. Thursday, the third and final season of Vikings Valhalla. Mm, Okay. Basically, uh, good-looking dudes with their shirts off. Uh, well, fighting. Uh, good-looking uh, Nordic men. Let's uh, get that out. We could way. call this boner fight 2.0, <laughs> or as we uh, or 3.0 uh, if you count Vikings, or if you want to call it in the GOP. What we hope everyone wants to be. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> also on Thursday uh, on Prime Video, they made Sausage Party into a TV series. I know. I saw that. Foodtopia. Ugh. It's uh, Seth Rogen, Kristen Wiig, Michael Sarah, Edward Norton are all in here, and they're setting up a safe space for food. Okay, so they can expire naturally, I guess. <laughs> can we? Can I make a suggestion? Uh, I, I, don't do this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Prime Video, please don't do this. Oh, oh I got a, a great idea. I know it will never happen. Okay, let's do a crossover hmm. with Sausage Party and yeah, ready? Yes, the Bear. And just hmm. watch that uh, All right. mind fuck happen. All right. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how it's going to happen. We're going to get a star. 
What are you trying to talk about? We're do- Every second counts there, Richie. What the fuck are you trying to do to me? You really don't care what some fucking tire magnate thinks about a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> also, can we just uh, stress this part? If you're trying to relax no. after a long day. No. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I know, I know. I've made the argument that, uh, and Rebecca Frost has done this as well, that the Bears should they should drop those episodes weekly as opposed to giving you all ten at once. I've I've since uh, changed my mind because I sat down. As, I'm gonna, I'm going to watch a couple. Uh huh. Come back to it. Ended up watching the whole fucking thing yep. in one sitting. I I did the it, same be, thing because the flow is there. Well, and here's the reason why because. I can't people after <laughs> watching the bear. True. Yeah. I can't. You you need a break from society after oh, watching the bear. Like, yeah. like dealing with Richie and Carmi's bullshit, uh-huh. and then I just got to deal with my roommates. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I was at. It was like, uh, even one of my roommates was going, hey, Tommy, what's up? shut the fuck up. I love you. <laughs> Whatever you have to say, please hold off. Let me binge the bear then we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. And 24 to 48 hours. Yes. That's it. On Friday on Netflix, uh, they've made Exploding Kittens, the the board game. Uh, and the of card, course, it's a card game. And actually. as soon as you said that, uh, the uh, the uh, mascot cat just walked away like, uh, I'm out of here. P- Pearl was hanging out here. Then all of a sudden I mentioned Exploding Kittens and she just See? Fucked, 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 fucked right <laughs> off. Okay. We're not talking about you, honey. We're Even, not talking about you. you no, know, but she, if you put a food bowl big enough in front of her, she would literally eat until she explodes. Do, do we want to test this theory? We, we, <laughs> uh, bigger question, which one of the family members will kill me? You, uh, I'm sure you'll be okay, but... Uh, somebody else will. Yeah. Anyway, this is uh, from the uh, producers of King of the Hill, Greg Daniels and Mike Judge. Okay. And it's an adaptation of the, the card game. And uh, basically, the setup is God, mm-hmm. voiced by Tom Ellis, ironically, Lucifer. Naturally. Yeah, this is a cartoon, by the way. Yeah. And uh, is uh, banished to Earth to live as a house cat <laughs> who lives next door to the Antichrist, Sashir oh. Zamata. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, the apocalypse looms. Uh, and in other words, they're in an, an election year? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's just any other year. Oh, okay. Just okay. another year. Okay. And, uh, yeah, also on, uh, that's on Netflix on Friday, also on Friday, uh, Apple TV Plus series, Me. It's a sort of a coming age superhero, coming of age story that is far more, more wholesome than Gen V. Yeah. Way more wholesome. Yeah. Although not as entertaining. Probably not. Yeah. Because wholesome. Yeah. Boring, but it's a thing. And, uh, Sunday, uh, the Paramount Plus hits just keep coming to CBS. (laughs) Tulsa King is going to be on CBS. Okay. They're going to edit the fuck out of it. Of course they are. And, uh, yeah, but I think it'll do fine. And, and this is different from the other Taylor Sheridan shows in that it actually has somewhat of a sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tulsa King is uh, The Sopranos if it was relocated in Oklahoma. Yeah. Starring uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yes. And, of course, uh, the edits that you're going to experience where Sylvester Stallone was going, <laughs> he will, you will hear... Look, I'm not ready for this kind of problem here in Tulsa. I don't want to be relocated. Yeah. So just expect that dubbing. Yeah. And uh, a couple that want to mention a couple of movies that premiered last week while we were off. Mm. The uh, Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. Actually pretty good. You did watch that? I did. Okay. It was actually pretty good. I was surprised. I I was expecting nothing after Beverly Beverly Hills Cop 2 and 3. Well, 2 was okay. 3 was a You know why? You know why uh, 1 and 2 were good? Why? Jerry Bruckheimer. Yes. You wait. Know, you know why wait, this one's hold, good? Oh, hold up. Let's <laughs> see. I trapped you there, didn't uh, I? <laughs> I agreed to something without realizing the problem. He's also involved in uh, Axel F. This is uh, on Netflix. This is this is before the Don Simpson Bruckheimer <laughs> uh, bullshit that we had to deal with in the nineties. Yeah. So actually, Fuck. it's uh, it's pretty damn funny. Very uh, very watchable, and I'm sure it's going to do well enough that there's going to be another one. Sigh. Yeah, you okay. give me another one. I know it. I All just right. know it. All right, fine. But, the, but the, the real King movie of the, Queen movie of the summer, I should say, is a Trigger Warning, Jessica mm-hmm. Alba. Okay. Uh, 
up up until uh, last time I checked uh, a few days ago, it had been streamed 25 million times. What? Or worldwide. Uh, Anywhere that gets Netflix has watched Trigger Warning. W- w- was the reason for the streaming was they wanted to go, wait, Jessica Alba is in a action film? Maybe. Or uh, Jessica Alba is so hot. A little bit of both, probably, yeah. but uh, it did pretty well. I, I don't know if uh, the new Beverly Hills Cop movie is going to beat it, but... We'll see. Okay. And also, uh, uh, Space Cadet on Prime Video starring uh, Emma Roberts. Oh. This is a Pauly Shore movie that never got made in the 90s, somehow. (laughs) She basically, um, she's a Florida party girl who uh, applies to NASA. Like you do. And her friend, she asked her friend, asked her friend, her friend to, uh, you know, take a look at the resume she sent in. punch it up a little bit. She didn't tell it, asked her to punch it up, but she did. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And so she gets there, and she soon realizes that, uh, oh, they think I'm a PhD, and <laughs> and I'm a Fulbright scholar, mm-hmm. and yeah. all that jazz. Yeah, you know. I can fly a jet, all this <laughs> shit, and uh, it's stupid as hell, but it's very funny. Uh, Emma Roberts is obviously having a good time, therefore, it's impossible not to have a good time alongside her. And Wait. Desi Lydic has a very one note role, but it's a funny one. Okay, and this is this should be proof to everybody that's wondered. You know, being a Nepo baby does open up some doors. Uh, have you been seeing that shit? Um, uh, yeah, I've read some interviews with her. She says, being a Nepo baby didn't get me shit. Yeah. I still had to work for everything I got. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> George Clooney uh, having to go through this? I mean. Jim oh, Clumby? Yeah. I I get her argument. I understand. Yeah, men are far less scrutinized than women are yeah. as far as the whole Nepo baby thing. And if you think men are far less scrutinized, you should see the numbers of the TV10 podcast. I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we're not Nepo babies. The numbers for TV10 podcast are, are immeasurable. Mm-hmm. As far as anybody knows. Take that any way you want. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the boys. Oh, God. <laughs> Where do we even we've, fucking uh, begin? We've managed, uh, they've managed to work in adrenochrome uh-huh. into the conversation on the boys. Yep. As far as right-wing psychopath uh, Alex Jones talking points. Yep. Uh, the most recent episode that got in uh, Santorum. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and Google it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. And uh, uh, Jewish space lasers. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> word is- it's just like, if you follow this shit, this is just like, they're just playing the greatest hits. Yeah. If you follow uh, the conspiracy bullshit train, uh, you know, it's like, oh, that one, I know that one, they're ticking that box, I got that one. Mm-hmm. If you don't, you're going, what the fuck? I mean, this is your bingo card <laughs> yeah, uh, for is. superhero uh, shows. Yes, I mean, yes. And, oh, can we just say um, uh, Homelander still has mommy issues? Very much so. Oh, boy. Very much so. I, I mean, I'm not... It only, mi- only enlarges your heart just a little. Eh, just not milking it enough, yeah, yeah, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, of all the shows uh, that you want to watch to calm down, I honestly think this is the one. Maybe. Uh, just because it is so ridiculous, like it's on 11, mm-hmm. and you're going, they can't be doing this in real life. Well, well, they are. They, they are. They're making yeah. it easier for you to digest that shit. So, <laughs> but oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Between the bear and uh, the boys, uh, a lot of fans were like very pissed off about the boys just taking it too far. To which uh, Eric Kripke, the showrunner, says, "You can go watch another show." Yeah, and <laughs> and and here's my question uh, because it's apparently now. They're starting to say you're going a little too far. Really, <laughs> really. You, you seems like we we got there in season one. I would argue season three. What uh, okay? What was the the thing the the soup uh, soupgasm uh, herogasm herogasm? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I mean, or even the first episode of season three, mm-hmm. just diving in. Yeah. Uh, but hey, mommy still got it. So there, there you go. So, <laughs> but uh, uh, and I will just say to everybody, this is this is the hat you're gonna hang on. They're this just is the so, one. They're just so much dried cum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not making this up, tarantula. No? <laughs> we are not making any of this shit up. The safe word was Sendea. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, God. Which works great with a character named Web Weaver. Yeah. And who shoots spider webs not out of his hands, but the other <laughs> way around, folks. Yep. Turn it around. You're oh. saying the boys, if you haven't started watching it yet. Oh, and you're, you're, you're in for a treat. Yeah. Uh, well, number one, I don't treat is a very strong word. Number two, should we point out this is not for kids? Like, oh, yeah. At yeah. All? yeah it's, 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 it, uh, it is a superhero show that is not for kids. Oh. And it's not for Yui. No. no. Oh, <laughs> Huey's got enough as is. Huey needs a hug. Well, and especially Jack Quaid dealing with his dad <laughs> these days. I mean, I will hug him and go, look, it's okay. We understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, when was the fan X supposed to be? September. Oh, okay. We weren't invited, so it uh, doesn't oh, matter. Oh, uh, do I need to check our emails again? <laughs> Jesus. I, I'm sure it's not in the spam. All right, fine. But, uh, yeah, also uh, in uh, industry news here, uh, Outer Range canceled after season two. So we won't have another season to not explain everything that's happening. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, well, we won't have another uh, season to explain everything on, what was it, Prime Video? Yeah. Okay. So that means either Apple or Hulu is going to have to take up the slack. Uh which other uh, streaming uh, service has money? Um, I don't know if any of them have money. I think they're all losing money. Okay. They have capital. Uh, okay. So but, Paramount Plus. Okay. Max. Uh, okay, yeah, Max has already tapped out with House of the Dragon. Let's not lie. Tubi? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, how how uh, massive were the effects in Outer Range? Uh, there weren't a whole lot of out there special effects that looked very expensive. I think mostly you just got to pay for Josh Brolin. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay, there's a way we can deal with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one or two ways. Either, to your point, we do we have 2B takeover or failing that. We have Max, but, but... Mm -hmm. We have the people from Los Spookies deal with the uh, the effects. I mean, yeah. that's the only way. That they know how to get it done on a very small budget. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've solved it all. We, we've solved the problem. Thank you, Hollywood. Money, please. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, Martin Mull. Oh, tragedy. Tragedy. Start, uh, they, they list him here. This is a Hollywood Reporter article. Mm -hmm. uh, he lists... The, they list that he found fame with Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, and the spinoff Fernwood Two Night. Those are from the seventies. Wow, he's done a lot of stuff since then. Uh, let's so let's uh, list off uh, his accolades. Uh, among other things, he was involved in Roseanne and uh, the TV show. Yeah, um, Clue, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, yep. Arrested Development. Mm -hmm. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Like he was. Uh, he, yeah, I, you remember his character's name from uh, Arrested Development? I'm trying to remember now. And... Jean Parmesan. <laughs> I mean, it's no blah, blah, blah. So. He was also on Two and a Half Men. He mm -hmm. was on Veep. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. He was, he was on uh, Not Dead Yet. Jeez. And uh, a, a Cinemax mockumentary that I have not seen, but it sounds interesting, from 1985 called The History of White People in America. Ooh. Sounds good. Okay, so basically what we're saying is uh, we'll go to the office. Uh, by the office, I mean Brivies. Mm -hmm. We'll watch that. We'll just get the uh, we'll get the Republican National Party to come over. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. We'll have them donate, but then we'll take the money and just give it to our Republican or er, our Democratic uh, uh, combatants against them. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's not larceny, really. Just like uh, emptying Tech Knight's bank account into Black Lives Matter? Yeah, just just like that. Hmm. So I don't see what the problem is. Also, we're just performance artists, Your Honor. They can't use us in evidentiary. No, no, no. Nah. And uh, I think it's about that time. Oh, boy. In that case, uh, I better uh, get my stuff ready so... Hit my music. And sports with Tommy Milagro. Go team. From the sports desk of the TV10 podcast, we deliver to you only the sport of professional wrestling. Uh, but we're going to get into a little bit of uh, tragedy. Uh, well, not quite yet. Uh, but uh, Kevin Sullivan, you remember him uh, from the WCW days? Yes. The Taskmaster. Um, 
just uh, just the most evil son of a bitch uh, ever to walk uh, around uh, not just WCW but uh, Championship Wrestling from Florida. Um, yeah, I still haven't watched that. Uh, Who killed WCW? Oh, jeez. On uh, Vice, I think. Right? It, <laughs> yeah, it, it's still on Vice. Uh, if you got it uh, saved away on the on your DVRs uh, or what have you. And uh, that's a whole other story there. But as far as Kevin Sullivan is concerned, um, and this is at SlimeWrestling.net. You know I write for them. That's what I hear. Yeah. I mean, I, I just have an MBA, but, you know. Oh, I yeah. try to make sure that the new, the real news gets out there. Can you get into NASA? Uh, maybe we should. Maybe hmm. we should. But here's the story. For uh, a little last while, there have been whispers about the ongoing health challenges of Kevin Sullivan. He's been hospitalized, but uh, little has been truly revealed. Now, with the GoFundMe account set up by uh, Nicole Sullivan, uh, they're asking for funds to help with his uh, his battles. And apparently, here's the situation. Uh, Kevin suffered a devastating accident. He underwent an emergency surgery that saved his leg and life, but faced severe complications, including septus and encephalitis. So... The unforeseen mm. catastrophe has placed uh, an immense uh, financial burden on the family, as Kevin has been in and out of consciousness in the ICU from uh, far from home. But he has shown incredible resilience, but he's still fighting to regain independence. So there is a GoFundMe page. Uh, it, you can find that at slamwrestling.net. With that story, check it out. Please donate if you can, if you are a fan. As for things that uh, also need uh, financial assistance, AEW, uh, <laughs> they are... Uh, are they doing a GoFundMe? Uh, I, not yet. Uh, I, I mean, Tony. Totally. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, clean up on aisle seven. Sorry, that was on me. All right, keep, uh, keep talking. I'll get something. Okay. So, yeah, uh, so AEW uh, just recently had their Forbidden Door fa- pay-per-view a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it, was a, it was a show filled up with, at first, 13 episodes, then a balloon to 15, and if you caught my uh, recap of it at slamwrestling.net, most of it was in haiku form, so... That's the only way I could cover the the show righteously, but it was a great match that had uh, sw- all that old shortcut. Yeah, and if you were in my position, you would go, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm doing the same thing too." And uh, as a result, uh, you know, uh, Swerve Strickland uh, defended his AEW World Championship against uh, Will Osprey, but also John Moxley, who held. The IWGP uh, title uh, from New Japan Pro Wrestling, he faced Tetsuya Naito and lost the belt uh, to Naito. So Los Ingobernables de Japón uh, managed the win from there. Oh, and uh, more importantly, over the weekend, uh, you might have noticed on the Peacock, if you flock to the cock, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a... Uh, a premier live event, or a PLE as they call it, not a pay per view. A play. Yeah, a play. Uh, it was uh, Money in the Bank, and, uh, you know, certain people uh, won the briefcase to earn a title shot down the road. Among them, uh, Drew McIntyre, and uh, let's see, who else? Eh, yeah, that that's how I think it was T- Tiffany Stratton. Really? Yeah. Huh. I think so. I You think? <laughs> I, that's how little I was paying attention to it. But the big story So this is comprehensive news coverage here. Uh, by comprehensive <laughs> I just went, "Really? You're a thing? Fine. Okay, where's my uh where's my uh, uh the Sugar t- House Distillery uh raspberry lemonade vodka?" It's Tiffy time. Yep, uh, but the big story of the night, and you were alluding to this, John Cena announced that he was going to be on his retirement tour. He's going to be retiring sometime in 2025. Now, whether that means WrestleMania 41 or uh, another uh, play down the road, who's to say, but 
Uh, this is probably the first time in a long time that as John Cena, who has turned into a fine actor, I will say. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he has acted his ass off in not just the uh, Peacemaker series, but also in uh, Ricky Stanicki. Also uh, look up a movie called Freelance with oh, Alison Brie. Yeah. That's, not, not a bad movie. Yeah. So, in other words, what we're trying to say is you better see him uh, before you can actually say you can't see him. <laughs> All I want is season two of Peacemaker. Uh, we all That's want, all I want from John Cena. We all want that. So, James Gunn, if you're listening to this, get the fuck on it. Yeah. And finally this. Uh, I think... Uh, and there's a reason why I'm going with this story. WWE 2K24 has bulked up its roster. The second DLC pack, uh, meaning, you know, stuff that you can download uh, for your WWE game... Uh, available today is headlined by Post Malone and features Sensational uh, Sherry, the Headbangers, and the Honky Tonk Man with manager Jimmy Hart. Yes, Utah, Post Malone mm. will be in WWE 2K24. In fact, uh, Mr. Frost, as you're looking at this picture here of his, uh, All right. of his yeah. uh, rendering... What would you say to that image? Looks like a pro wrestler. Right? Yeah. Uh, now, is he in real life? No. No. But <laughs> the fact that uh, he will now live on in uh, pixelated glory is not a big factor because uh, it's sports. All right. Yay. And sports with Tommy Malagro. Go team. Sorry about that. I got a little <laughs> animated there with the, uh, the sports report. There. You're a cutoff. I know I am. All right. Kind of goes without saying. Uh, did you know there was a Batman series uh, set in Arkham Asylum in the works? Um, yes. Well, it is no longer in the works. Uh, well, they, they pulled the plug on it. Max uh, said, nah. So, yeah. So, uh, David Zaslov said, no, that costs money. <laughs> that would cost Why money. Why do we want to make money? Why would we want to spend money? Yeah, and there, and then there's Jeff Bezos going, really, Batman, um, can you do this uh, animated show for us? And uh, that's <laughs> coming up uh, down the road. Yeah. So uh, when is it? Uh, it's going to be late, late in August, right? Batman Cape Crusader or something? That, that I don't know. Yeah. It is weird having some Batman universe stuff on Prime Video. I was just like, what? But the difference is, is that not only is Bruce Timm involved from the original Batman the Animated Series, but also Matt Reeves, who uh, directed The Batman, is going to be involved in that. So I'm really curious how they're going to make that uh, that meld together. Yeah. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, and uh, another show I'm watching harder is, uh, th is Reginald the Vampire. It's going to be uh, it's season two finale coming up this week. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm not sure which way they're going to go with it uh, because they just recently um, renewed Resident Alien. Mm -hmm. but they said, yeah, we're taking that off sci-fi and it's going to go to the USA Network. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because sci-fi, I don't know. Also, Sci-Fi has a new season of The Ark coming up. So I, I think Sci-Fi is slowly trying to get out of making anything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be reruns and shit. Okay. And so we're just going to hand off our stuff to USA or what's, an, what's another uh, NBC Universal property? Uh, uh, let's see. There's uh, uh, We've talked about the Peacock. We've C talked about USA. CNBC? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, MSNBC? <laughs> I mean, if they can work it in with Rachel Maddow, I'd be impressed. Yeah. Um, no, but let's uh, let's uh, one other. Uh, you slotted in after Stephanie Rule. Stephanie Rule. Stephanie Rule. Jeez. The eleventh hour. Wow, you really went deep into the archives there. Hey. You. Do. I know my MSNBC. I know you do, and <laughs> also this is the same time that you told me about Red Eye with uh, Greg Gutfeld. That was a long time ago. I know. Greg, Greg Gutfeld has gone to the other side now. Yeah. He's he's, he's Glenn Becked himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me get a drink to, you never to wash go, that out. You never go full Glenn Beck. <laughs> and please write that down. <laughs> <laughs> never go full Glenn Beck. 
<laughs> that, that should get some, get some uh, SEO traction. Oh, good God. That is how much preparation we do in the podcast here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are getting your money's worth. And uh, also, uh, yeah, I mentioned Phantasmus as a, as a show I'm currently watching and loving and that I think you should watch as well. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't see uh, the second season of We Are Lady Parts on Peacock, oh, there we go. There's the other uh, NBC Universal property, Peacock. That's it. Yeah. Uh, if you have not watched uh, We Are Lady Parts on Peacock, please do so because it's fucking hilarious. And it's also halal. So yes. That is the it's other a, selling point. The, the all-female punk rock band in London, who are they all happen to be Muslim. Mm-hmm. And the songs are good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just the, the perfect feel-good uh, summer hits uh, for your Islam, uh, or sorry, Israel-Gaza war. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on, the, on the other end of the feel-good, uh, Orphan Black Echoes on AMC, AMC+. Plus. Yeah, how are you feeling? About Liking that? it so far. Okay. Uh, Kristen Ritter is great. Uh, they found a girl who plays a young version of Kristen Ritter. Uh pretty good job doing that yeah that's yeah. a lot to ask <laughs> yeah. let's not lie so you have a uh, christian ritter then you have a 16 year old version of christian ritter mm-hmm. and uh yeah the good job there uh the new uh the fourth and currently final season of evil just fucking weird on paramount <laughs> plus i mean what else is there to if, say about if, evil if it wasn't weird enough for you in the beginning when it was on cbs uh now it is yeah and uh are they are they going to do more uh, seasons? Or? No, this is it. Uh, this they, will be they, the last they one. They said, we're fucking done with this. Yeah, so. this is the last season. But it's like 14 episodes long, which is like an eternity in mm-hmm. streaming. Okay, that's all you need right there. Yeah. Um, and also, the you, you mentioned uh, House of the Dragon. Mm-hmm. A show, uh, most of Game of Thrones stuff, as I've mentioned here before, I consider to be homework. Yeah. Because, you know... As a TV critic, you got to keep up on all Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon shit. Well, wait until uh, the Dune uh, miniseries Bene Gesserit comes out. Oh, fuck. This is going to feel like uh, second uh, period math. But I'm uh, to... actually kind of liking House of the Dragon. I'm just like, oh, they're kind of winning me over here. They're, they're Well, they've built in a world and they're not sticking to the source and somebody doesn't know when to fucking finish a deadline <laughs> for his fucking final book. I think that's a problem. I don't think he has a deadline. Yeah, well, he, he basically just went, oh, I got HBO money. <laughs> fuck off <laughs> let's not lie even i would do the same thing too you would too as well neck deep and hookers and blow <laughs> that's george rr R. martin george rr R. R. why why bother to finish the book yeah uh, who cares about books you got tv you got tv money what the yeah. hell <laughs> uh and some somebody is going that's not true. Books are important. Well, the ones that aren't burned yet. So, yeah, I agree <laughs> with that. So, <laughs> not burned yet. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, it got dark all of a sudden, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. And also, um, it just recently finished up the uh, third season on uh, Apple TV Plus uh, Acapulco. Okay. I don't think there will be another one. It seems like they kind of wrote themselves into an ending. So I think if you want to dive into this thing, I think the whole thing's done. So you might as well. Or, 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 because uh, that that was the same thought we had with Hacks not too long ago. And then they pulled I, out a third season. I'm a little more sure of this one. But yeah, Hacks has been also picked up for a fourth season. I don't know if we've mentioned that since uh, we've been here and there. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've had that conversation yet. But uh, thankfully, yeah, we're going to have that fourth season. Which I'm going to say to the people of Acapulco, mostly I'm looking at you, Tim Cook. Yeah, I'm beaming into your uh, Silicon Valley residence here. <laughs> Make Acapulco season three happen. Actually, oh, it would be season four. Oh, season four, excuse yes. me. I'm, I, I guess what I was thinking of was also uh, try to green light Ted Lasso season four. I don't know how, just make it happen. Or at least a mini movie. I don't care. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, I, I'm just saying, you have money. <laughs> just money it, please. <laughs> that's it. That's all you need to say. Just money it. Money it, please. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I have uh, I have not started this uh, the acolyte yet. I have. And uh, so far, how is it? I uh, okay. I I I I'm not a, a hardcore Star Wars fan. 
That's number one. The reason mm-hmm. why you and I get along so fine. Uh, but number two, <laughs> I, it, uh, it, it really establishes a great storyline about the Jedi back in the day. And it involves two twin sisters that are force sensitive, but were around some evil uh, practitioners of mm. the dark side. Yeah. Uh, which if you've ever watched Clone Wars, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's canon. So just get with that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think, and, uh, I, I think the big, uh, the big, uh, uh, the big bad here, the stranger, as they're calling it, um, the guy who practices the dark side of the force, the master who's wanting an acolyte just winning people over not just with the physical stuff he did but also uh with the acting chops that he has now whether that's to say that's the script or his work i'm very engaged by how he's approaching this role and okay i I fully endorse it and what i'm saying is watch that shit harder (laughs) and and i and i hear you I, i i hear the I, I I sense a disturbance in the force. Oh, where, do you? Do you? Where the where the, uh, the the nerds are just crying out? This is not my Star Wars. My my. Uh, Sith, oh yeah, this is the one that's too woke, right? Yeah, my Sith Lord is not a uh, a Filipino. My <laughs> uh, my dark acolytes are not black people. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. So please <laughs> understand when I say the following. So what? Get over it. Move on. There. And, <laughs> there you go. And just like that, gone. <laughs> it's it's that easy to say that. Just say, I hear you. I understand. Follow by. So what? Get over it. Move on. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's all you need. Yeah. On that note, uh, do we have any other business to wrap up besides, besides to remind people about the uh, August 4th, 6 p.m. Uh, live show at Black Sheep? You mean the one where we're going to celebrate... 500 episodes of this podcast that you... Project 0500, yeah. You, oh, is that going to be... Should we retitle that? No, we need, need to save that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, yeah. That is where we're going to indoctrinate you into all the TV news and our reviews. Oh, yeah. And there is plenty of booze over at Black Sheep over at uh, Foothill Village, it's like uh, 1400 South uh, Foothill Village, and you're, if you're in the uh, Salt Lake City area in Utah. Yeah. I hear they also have food. Yes, they do. Because it's a bar and grill. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, let's uh, establish this. Thank you for bringing that up. Mm-hmm. You can't bring kids. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Sorry. Well, I, I would think that would apply to anything involving us. Just don't bring your kids. Right. Uh, but I, I can hear some parents going... But I got little ones. I want to bring. No, no, this is not. Leave him in the car, crack a window. It'll be fine. <laughs> you know, give him a hammer, some cereal, maybe some water. Let, him play, let him play with the radio. It'll, yeah. it'll be great. It'll be fine. Yeah. And who cares if they're cracked to MBR on that? That's your problem as a parent, not my problem. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's on August 4th. And uh, yeah, so we'll be off again next week. We'll return on, uh, now, hold whatever, on. whatever it is. Uh, so two, two weeks from now. As we are recording live on air, and this is on uh, July 7th here, mm-hmm. we will be back July 21st. Don't abandon us. It's okay. Maybe you could just listen to the old episodes. I know you're probably going, Maybe. Really? Yeah. I need to listen to this? Yes. Yes, you do. And, uh, yeah, and uh, also you should follow us on um um, on all the things, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Threads, we're on Blue Sky, we're even still on Twitter. Why? I don't know. All TV Tan Podcast. Yeah, I, I'm i barely focusing on the Twitter part. You but. can uh, Gmail us at TV Tan Podcast uh, if you got anything you want to yell at us for. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and who are our sponsors? Well, let's see. As I am sipping down the genius juice that is the... Raspberry Lemonade Vodka from Sugar House Distillery. When I'm not spilling it onto the control board. Sorry. I really yeah. am. Uh, it's seen worse. I'm sure it has. Also, ew. Mm-hmm. Mm. You should also check out our fine sponsors at Outlaw Distillery. 
Uh, they're in the Midvale area. You should also check out uh, Ogden's own distillery out in, you know, Ogden, uh, God's country. Yep. That, that is a place where you can find Five Wives and Five Husbands Vodka and also Madame Paterini Gin. Hey, maybe bring it into uh, a, a government-sanctioned uh, bathroom. See how they feel about that. Okay. I'm not saying you have to. Also, we're just performance artists here on our... But also, maybe just uh, take a few shots of uh, their, let's see, Porter's Fire, their Porter's Peanut Butter Whiskey drinks right there. They also have uh, Porter's in a can. Even uh, Mr. Frost enjoys their Porter's uh, Peach Tea. Yeah. Perfect for, you know, sweltering in the summertime. Yeah. And, of course, you want to get the underground because... Jägermeister is for basic bitches. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, let's see, uh, maybe you need a beer. Uh, you should go to Bohemian Brewery, also in the Midvale area. Yeah. Plenty of great beer, including a cerveza. As you are watching your favorite sports event, uh, like I was watching at uh, 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 the Wimbledon. Oh, yeah, that's a sports thing. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who won? Uh, uh, she won. And he won. Okay. Cool. And they won. All right. So, yeah, that's about as much attention as I paid to that because it was not uh, other sports. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's not the sport of professional. Right. Person. Yeah. Uh, but let's see. And, um, oh, yeah. And uh, Boostique is one of our fine sponsors as well. Yep. They even have glassware, some stuff to mix up drinks. And they also have non alcoholic drinks. Yeah. You can have that and still be a respectable person. Relax. Ish, yes. Uh, really? You're going to go down that road? All right. Fine. Respectable ish. Yeah. Fair enough. It's not quite blackish, but it's respectable ish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but either way, just tell all of them TV10 Podcast sent you. Of course, we have our t shirts so you can rock that loudly and proudly. Uh, we'll have some to sell at, the, at our uh, 500 episode event. Uh, just, you know, bring money. Money, please. That's how I'm going to uh, rock that. We're not going to t-shirt can in this? Do we have that in the budget? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I, do we have a t-shirt cannon? Maybe. Are you, are you saying I need to talk to Greg and there's a There's a lot of crap in the basement here. There could be one lying around it's, anywhere. Well, this is true. I mean, we are in one of the basements here. There, yeah. there has to be an arsenal. Yeah. Or maybe I'll talk to Greg. Hey, Greg, if you're listening to this, do you have a t-shirt cannon? What, I mean, what kind of bar and grill doesn't have its own t-shirt cannon? And I know Greg, so it's <laughs> very likely at this okay. stage in the game. Cool. But I, uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, also, Evie, uh, that's the event planner at uh, Black Sheep. Oh, Evie, they if have you have an event planner. Yes, they fancy. do. Fancy. Yes, they okay. do. That's how fancy as fuck this is going to be. Evie, mm. if you have a t-shirt cannon, let me know. <laughs> Um, and also, what are the legalities of it doing indoors? Yeah, Just really. asking for a friend. Yeah, could could get weird. Uh, could? <laughs> could, yes. All right. Have we taken care of everything? Have we taken care of all business here? Uh, we've taken care of all the business. Everything is good. All right. Nothing weird is going on in uh, the Rassels yet. Okay. Uh, give it another day or two and it'll get really weird. Okay. On that note, I'm going to say goodnight, America. Well, then, please, jiggle that handle. Oh, and yes, uh, for someone that we all both know, eat more ham. Done. Flush. <laughs> I know you're expecting bad news, and selling a show is the only way to become incorporeal, given that your little oyster is at the bottom of the sea. So, let's quit playing games, huh? Just grow up. Give us what we want. Give us your trauma. Give it to us funny. Give it to us en espanol, por favor. Okay, well, I do have an idea in case of emergency. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was hoping I would never have to use. Mm -hmm. Say it. It's a script titled. Well, say it. How I came out to my abuela. <laughs> That's a show. <laughs> Okay.